I'm at the beach. It's like climbing a sand dune. This is, hang on a minute. This is just sand. It's your sand. How, how on earth was it worked out that when you heat that up, you can see through it? Because I'm struggling with that. Well, it's actually a natural phenomenon. If lightning hits sand, it will turn into glass. No and this way. happens back in Roman times. And from there, they worked out that if you warm it up enough, is that you for can real? make glass. Yeah. So where does the heating happen? Well, we put this now into a big furnace and uh, we melt it at 1600 degrees C. Where's that? Let's go and have a look. Big furnace? Yeah. Okay, so this is the front of the furnace and this is the feeder. It's huge. Well, you can see the heat radiating from, what sort of temperature is that? It's about 1200 degrees, but further down the furnace, it's about 1600 degrees and that's really where the glass starts to melt. That's, that's the where sand. the sand's coming across from the batch plant and gets poured into the front feeder. And a little bit further in here, you can see where the batch gets pushed into the furnace. I mean, what is the furnace made of? So the furnace is built out of sand, but well, the pure sand will melt at uh, 1700 degrees, but we're melting the mixture at 1600. So there's only 100 degree of tolerance. If you yeah. get it wrong... It's, it's a big problem. And if you actually go in a little bit, we can start to see it melting. Wow, okay. a wall of heat. Yeah. Oh. It's almost on a conveyor belt. You can see what looks like waves of sand That's right. going into the furnace. Yeah. How come I can see on this side, it looks like molten glass? At that point, it is glass. There is a return flow coming back up the furnace with the melted glass, which helps melt the fresh glass going in as well. I'm actually struggling to get any closer to right. it than this. It is warm. Is there any way we can get to have a peek of what's happening safely inside the furnace? Yeah, we can have a look on the sides. We can have a look at the firing through the firing ports and look at the flames going in. So this is the side of the furnace. <laughs> Look at the size of it. Okay, so yep. if we open up here. <laughs> oh my word. That's yep. like standing at the back of a jet engine. Are you mad? So if you look in front, you can see the flames firing across the glass and you can see where the raw material has been melted away. Okay. Oh wow. You can, that's actually, you can see a sort of molten effect. Yeah. That is melted, isn't it? It is, hold on. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry about that. Oh, it's no, cracked it as well. Oh, am I in trouble? No. Just, just put it down and forget about that. Right, OK, uh, where's next? Let's get out of this okay. apartment. This is the bath, uh, and this is the main area control for the whole line, really. Right. Well, the glass is flowed out, so you've got a treacle-type glass coming into this okay. area. Molten glass coming in. And it will form out, and we uh, can manipulate it to the right substance that we want. What does it form out onto? What it's, gives you a flat surface? It's, it's forming out onto a tin. 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 So it's on top of metal? It is on top of metal. Why yeah. is it so important to cool glass at the right rates? For, for us, we want the glass to be cuttable and be able to make it into the right size and then right. turn it into a windscreen. Finally, glass. That's it, yeah. That is stunning. That is absolutely beautiful. And it appears to be never ending. That's right. I mean, this is a continuous process. We run for 365 days a year, 24 hours a day. Uh, there's enough glass what? for 20 years. There's enough glass comes off this line in one single piece to wrap around the world. And it's been running non-stop for 20 years? Non-stop for 20 years until the next repair it needs. So how do you go from that to a car windscreen like the one I left in your office? In our automotive division, we'll cut it to size, shape the glass, laminate it and bend it to the right uh, windscreen shape for the car. Right, so two pieces of glass stuck together yep. with a see-through glue. That's right. Which means if you hit it yes. in a crash, all the bits stick together and therefore you don't get injured by That's it. That's it. It's safety. So that is the finished product. That's the glass. It is. We've cut it. We've washed it. We now just need to stack it onto the uh, stillage over here. And they've got to be absolutely bang flat, haven't yep. they? Do you know what, Neil? I have thoroughly enjoyed having a look around here and I'm looking forward to getting started. I feel like, a, you know what I do owe you? Christmas party. Yeah. The next one, yeah. set up a tab under my name. In fact, you know what? Right, keep that, that's my ID. Thank you. And 500 quid behind the bar on me. Excellent, all right. thank you very much. Make it 750. Thank you very around. much. All right, no worries. Right. Mark Atherton, all right? Mark Atherton. Cheers, Neil, you're a legend.